you actually make block printing look so very easy, and it, it isn't hard, is it? It is easy, yeah. yeah. And the great thing is once you've made your block, you can make many different things. You can make GIFs and different colors and print on paper, and yeah. it's a great technique. So you can use, yeah, you can use it for cards as yeah. well as napkins, as well as table linens, as well as actually even pillowcases would be yeah. pretty, you know? Yeah, all so, sorts of um, stuff. So we have to first carve a block. And right. And I remember carving through hard linoleum, which this is... This is a much better material. Yeah. Yeah. And what is this? It's called an artist carving block, and it's it's almost like carving into a big eraser. And you just use the same kind of cutter that you would with linoleum. So you use speedball cutters. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So so have... if if you've done linoleum block cutting or wood block cutting when you were uh, in school, that you'll know all these techniques. Okay. So the templates. Okay. Show those. So these um, you can download from the website, and so this uh, is really like a dogwood flower exactly, and a branch and just a, of leaves, a leaf motif. Yeah. yeah. So the way that you transfer to the block is is just using a pencil, trace the design of um, the leaf, just follow the line because you're going to transfer it with the oh. graphite from the pencil. Yeah, so you just go over it like that and then retrace? And then actually it transfers so well that you can just use a bone folder. Oh, and okay. This is a Martha Stewart bone folder and you just rub like that. Look at that, see no carbon paper necessary. Even though now after complaining about carbon paper for so long, you know I got a great case of it for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> An sure entire case more. of it. <laughs> so much fun. Okay, so there, look, fabulous. So there it goes. So there's yeah. your design, and then you start cutting with the speedball. Right, and you want to use this. We have two tips out, and this is the pointier V shape for okay. just tracing the edge. So go all the way around carefully. Now, if you make a mistake, if your hand slips, or you look up, or you, or you get distracted by the cat, <laughs> uh, be careful, because these can cut your fingers. So keep your fingers, true. They're, your they're other sharp. hand out of the way. But it does cut, it's cut, it's like butter actually. Right, and it, it really even says easy. that on the package. And, uh, and so do clean cuts all the way around until you have a beautiful design like this. Right, and you can use this U shape to scoop away. The big stuff. The big stuff. And then this, actually this is our craft knife and it works really well just for trimming just that, those areas that you want to oh, okay. not be raised. Yeah. Now, and you can get the craft knife at uh, MarthaStewartCrafts.com. And this, this is a great knife. It's, oh, it's just amazing. Yeah, so you don't want these edges in your way when you're printing. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, okay so. now how did you get, I'm looking at this, how did you get that effect? So this is just a really simple chip paintbrush. And w instead of using a roller or something like that, we just are going to brush oh, the I fabric see. paint on oh, okay. the block. Yes. And you just only need a little bit. Now this is regular fabric paint. Yep, okay. just water-based fabric paint. And you can just see, if, when you see the brush strokes on the leaf, that's exactly what you're okay, going to transfer so you to the leave fabric. Them. Yeah, and you can just sort of follow leave the Leave the leaves <laughs> alone. <laughs> okay, so, so, so you just paint the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, and so you're getting your little veins and, and markings in the leaves. This is a pretty color too. Yeah. This green, what color is this? It's, they call it moss green. Uh -huh. It's a transparent um, pigment, so you see the color of the fabric through it, which yeah, is like really this nice. I like a lot. Okay. So. So, and it's, okay, and then um, print. Yeah. So for this design, we're just printing it here like oh, that. Oh, okay. So you're just going to let the weight of the block kind of make the print and yeah, then don't press. move it this way or that way. Right. But you can it's, sort of press vertically. You will have a like mess that. on your sort of beautiful like a napkins. Big rubber stamp. Okay. And then just lift from one end. Mm, how print. gorgeous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And then so, you have your little flower. Yeah, the second motif is just it's a also a transparent color and it's kind of a for a pink dog. Wood. I like these transparent colors a lot. Yeah, they, they're just nice on top of the fabric. Oh. And, and then you just heat set it with an iron. Okay, so let it dry, then heat set it, right? Right. After it's dry, and then it's washable. Right. Okay, where are you putting the flower? Sort of wherever you want. But okay. I want to put it here because I made a little tiny error. <laughs> I can put more than one flower, right? Yeah, and the, yeah, and the, you can see on the napkins. Oh, so beautiful! You can even layer the flowers because it's transparent. Now, how do you get uh, these molds clean? When the, the just just a damp cloth, and you can also use like a mild dish detergent and dry them with a paper towel. Okay. And then you can use them again and again. 
Yeah, this is great. And you can really print on paper and everything, right? Yep. Oh, I, I really like this a lot. Mm. 